but you thought you were going to make it through, you made it through all right. Your soul could look back and say, Lord, look what you've done for me. You brought me from a long way. The Bible tells us that our God is a strong tower. And the righteous can run in and declare I'm safe. If you got any troubles, trials today, yeah. run to Jesus. Yeah. His wings will cover you. Yeah. Run to Jesus. Yeah. His strength will equip you. Yeah. Run to Jesus. Yeah. His peace will give you peace yeah. in, in the middle of a storm. Yeah. Secondly, I want to tell us when God steps into trouble, God abides with us. Yes. He says, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. He wants us to understand that uh, he's not afraid of what we are afraid of. As a matter of fact, because he is with us, we need to learn to declare, when I'm afraid, I trust God. Because he is abiding with us, we have to learn to declare, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Anybody ever been in trouble? When God steps in the middle of our trouble because he's abiding with us, we can declare God is our refuge and strength. Very present help in the time of trouble. When God steps in the trouble with us. We can declare as old man Moses declared. Amen. Our God he's still an awesome God because he gave him the Ten Commandments. And he wants us to understand that we serve an almighty God. And we can take him at his word. Thou shalt not have no other God before him. When you're in trouble, look to the God who's able to do all things, to carry you through. One who's able to heal the sick, raise the dead, feed the hungry, clothe the naked. So God abides with us when he steps in the midst of our troubles. Once again, he'll not leave us nor forsake us. The hymn writer says, I'm never alone. Never alone. Lift up your hands on this journey. Tell trouble I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. Don't believe you brought me this far to leave me. God steps in the midst of our trouble. We need to learn to lift up our voice and say, Victory is mine. Start singing before you even see the victory. Start telling yourself, Victory is mine. I told old Satan, Get thee behind. Victory today, not tomorrow, but today is mine. I believe what God says. Victory is mine. Then we got to learn when God steps into trouble, he empowers us. Yes. Some things we cannot do by ourselves and in our own strength. But not by my power, not by my strength, but by the spirit and the power of God. Yes. It's going to be all right. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Anybody ever been in trouble that came out victorious? And the enemy thought he was going to take you down. You can tell the enemy, look at me. You thought you had me, but still, praise of God. Still got a praise in my mouth. Still got joy in my heart. Still got a peace of mind. The devil couldn't take my mind from me. Because I kept my mind stayed on you. Almighty God. And because I did that, you gave me perfect peace. Yes. Peace that surpasses all understanding. So he empowers us in this. Thank God for his deliverance. When God gets in the midst of our trouble, 
we can say he's delivering us. Yes. Bringing us out. Somebody said, if you got to reach way down, yes. he'll pick me up. Yes. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Thank God for who he is. Yes. Thank God for his awesome power. Yes. And then I begin to look at the book of Joshua a little bit closer to help me understand when we are in trouble, how God stepped in. Our circumstances and situations, and he, he makes what we thought was a big problem seem small. Yes. Amen. Amen. So God spoke to Joshua mm -hmm. as he was leading the people of Israel. Yeah. You're going to make it over John. Right. Oh, yes. They had already crossed the Red Sea with right. Moses leading, but right. Joshua now is on the sea. Joshua is waiting and looking to hear from God. God, I know you promised me some things. You, you promised Israel some things. In other words, you promised us some things. But we can't get to the promised land unless we cross over Jordan. And in their mind, Jordan was a moving river. Waters came flowing down. So it was frightening to think that they would have to cross Jordan River. I want to tell us some things in life that seems frightening. Yeah. Trouble seems frightening. But we have to cross yeah. and go through trouble. Yeah. But with God once again holding our hand, yeah. we can make it over to the other side. Yeah. And we can enjoy the blessings yeah. that God has promised us. So God told Joshua, here is what I want you to do, Joshua. I want you to talk to some of the officers. Get them lined up. You got to get their minds right. You got to get the leader's mind right. If you can't get the leader's mind right, who can you depend on? We got to get some positive influence in the camp. We got to get some positive word into the minds of people. And then an atmosphere where you're in trouble, you need somebody to bring you some positive thinking. You want somebody to tell you, the just shall live by faith. And you need somebody to tell you, with God all to encourage you. Yes. So the officers went through the camp and they began to tell the people, you got to get ready, sanctify yourself. All you got to do is watch the ark of the covenant. The priests will be in a certain order. They will move out first and they will lift up the ark. And I want to tell us just a little story about the ark. The ark had sacred elements in it. Ark had the story of the Israelites, how, 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 how God blessed them and how God carried them. It had, uh, for example, the Ten Commandments of Moses. It, it had Aaron's rod. It had the sacred word, the, the sacred text. And every time they would look at the Ark of Covenant, they remember what God had done for them. We need to learn to have our own Ark of Covenant. Now, you need to be able to look back in your life, on your past journey, and look where God has brought you from. You need to be able to count your blessings and name them one by one. And every time you get into trouble, you need to lift up your ark and say, God, if you brought me to it, you'll bring me through it. Because you brought me way back then. And if you did it before, you can do it now. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody ought to have a memory in their mind. Uh, symbolizes the Ark of Covenant uh, to let you know when trouble don't come, trouble don't last all week. In other words, you've been on this rodeo before. You've looked trouble in the eye. You've looked sickness in the eye. But you tell the enemy, in spite of what I see with the natural eyes, I'm going to keep my eyes on oh, Jesus Christ. You need to be able to lift up your Ark of Covenant. God told Joshua, here is what's going to happen. When you get to the brink of church, yes. before you get there, I want you to sanctify yourself. Yes. Sanctify. Tell somebody you got to get ready. Yes. You got to prepare yourself for what God is going to do. In other words, sanctification has to do with God setting you apart for his glory, for his purpose, to use you. Tell somebody to sanctify yourself. Get ready. In other words, T.D. Jakes would say, get ready, get ready, get ready. As a child of God, get ready. God is going to bless you. I don't care what you see at Jordan at the brink. I don't care how fierce the waters are moving. If you're a child of God, you got to stand by Jordan and say, my soul of anchor in the Lord. Don't care how trouble coming, storm begins to rise. My, my soul is anger in the Lord. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. 
I can see the people in my spiritual mind. The old priest standing there on the bank of Jordan. Joshua says, I got something else I want you to tell the folk. Tell them God will not fail them. He's going to drive out the enemies on the other side. Don't, don't worry about the enemies on the other side. Just look at what I'm going to do right now. God will take care of your tomorrow if you can walk by faith today. I don't want you to move. I just want you to stand still. Just stand still. When I give the command, I want the priest to step in. <laughs> I want them to just step in. See, nothing is going to happen in your life if you're afraid of trouble. you got to learn to step in the midst of trouble. And say, my God shall supply all of the coin has written and glory in Christ Jesus. Somebody trouble got you bound, but you need to stand up to trouble. You need to get to the brink of your Jordan. You need to put your foot in Jordan. God wants to use you to dry up your Jordan. I don't care what you're going through. It could be a family crisis. It could be a financial issue. It could be a bit of divorce. It could be sickness and pain. It could be trouble on every side. Trust in the Lord. 